right guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, this is Stranger Palooza. We're actually at the 2022 Overland East Expo, which is in Arrington, Virginia. And we are in the Dometic booth, you can see Dometic over there. But we are looking at a van that was built out by Happier Camper. So here's the thing. What if you want to get a van and use that for work, you know, whatever it is you do for work, and then you want to convert it when you're ready so that you can get out there and uh, go on your adventures and have fun? That's what we're talking about here. So just imagine uh, all of this stuff being in there, like a bathroom, kitchen, sink, all of that. If you notice, this, the, uh, the pump here for the water is from Dometic. The stove is from Dometic. Um, that refrigerator is from Dometic. But this cabinetry is what I'm talking about. So let's go in this van and I'll show you guys. All right, so check this out. I, I really like this. First of all, it looks very modern and sleek. And all of this, you can, you can get, just get a van and bolt this stuff in. So Happier Camper is doing the flooring. So you can bolt in the flooring. You can bolt in these walls, like here's a cool, cool nicely shaped wall here you can put in cabinets all, all of this stuff you can bolt in you could put it in you could take it out now my understanding is if you have just a panel van like this without the windows you could do all of this if you have let's say you know a passenger van with a bunch of seats you actually can't do it because you can't bolt this whole system in so you won't be able to do the walls you just be able to do the floor and so so you can do those cabinets and all that here let's take a look uh, around this way yeah how am i doing by the way there's someone just making sure that i get everything <laughs> am i doing good yeah yeah and, okay yeah so you're right for the passenger mm -hmm. van you can't mm -hmm. do the walls but you can absolutely do the floor system yeah and, and that, that's the most important part right yeah. because it's part of all your modular components right. that you can take in and out and recreate on the fly however you see fit yes and you know if you guys go to happier campers website you'll actually see there's different packages here so if you want to get into this i think your entry level package is starting around 20 20k and then you could probably go up to 25 Okay, something like that. About 35. About 35. Cool yeah. Premium adaptive components. Right. Yeah. So that's really not bad if you think about it. You know, price wise, what it costs to actually go somewhere and have all this built out. Or even if you have the time to do it, your time is also valuable. So in my opinion, that's really not bad. But yes. So if you have the if you have windows, you could just do the flooring. But if you get one of these panel vans, you could do everything. Now obviously that doesn't include um, AC. <laughs> doesn't include plumbing you know but you can do that if you want to you can go to an upfitter and have them uh, cut out something for an AC if you want that you know you could do you could put in plumbing plumbing if you feel like you need that obviously you can have cassette toilets and all that stuff and then be uh, complete let's go around the back yeah so the oh <laughs> All right, so here we go. So there's there's some bench seats back here, you know, and they've got drawers in them. That's really cool. There's oh, a bunch of candy and stuff like that in here. And, there, and this flooring system is part of it as well, but all the way down here to the flooring. So if you look, so for example, this one's not there. You can um, bolt all of this out. It's actually bolted in to the factory bolts. So it's not really as much customization as you think because these guys are doing the work for you. You know, what I like about that is, so I'm always trying to explain to folks that if you buy a van and then you build it up, especially if you build it up yourself, it doesn't necessarily have the value that you think it does. Maybe if you're one of those famous dudes who builds vans on YouTube, you can sell it, you know, on your own, it has value. But if you go to a van place, a class B place, it's not gonna have as much value. So what you could do is when you're selling your van, you could take all this stuff out, sell this stuff separately, or put it in a new van if you're getting a new one, and then you could sell your van, right? So, I mean, this is the first time I've seen something that's really you know, this is fiberglass in here and really has a, a really good look. So, the fiberglass reminds me of the uh, the Wingham. Yeah. Uh, well, but this is on the this is on the inside. So on the out, if you really want to go stealth, this is a cool way to go because if you have a panel van like this and you close everything up, no one knows. 
Only yeah, thing's going to so be you that AC. That you know, there's ways you can have portable AC so and stuff like that. There's options these days. So, yeah, I, I really like this. I, I think this is cool. I'm going to, as I'm talking here in this video, I'm going to roll in some stuff for you guys. If you guys are wondering if you can get this for the Ford Transit vans, I think right now it's just the Sprinter, right? Sprinter 144 and 170. Okay, yep. so the 144 and 170, not the 170 extended yet. Uh, we're working on that as well. Okay. So okay, but it's so is coming the coming very soon. Okay, and yes. the Ford Transit and maybe Ford ProMaster. Transit, ProMaster, yep, those are all things that we're looking to eventually branch out into. Okay, and so where's Happier Campers located? We're located in Los Angeles. There you go. They're in LA. So and then the website's just Happier Camper. HappierCamper.com. Check there you it go. out. Yes. Yeah, so go check it out. I'm actually this is really cool. I like this idea because this there's other things you could do to upfit your van, but this yeah, looks like. Little, like someone custom made it for you Absolutely. that way so very nice do you have any color options or is but it just white it's white yeah so and then that's the only white. option you get yeah, right and okay we, we anything you any color you want as long as it's white and different uh different types of fabrication oh, okay um we've also offered a gray a uh, rotomold mold as well currently okay. we're only offering white but that can change yeah and it's fiberglass so i'm guessing if you really want to <laughs> But white's white's a pretty it's good layer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Molding, Thanks. Rotor mold, molding. Rotor molding. Rotor molding. Really? There you go. Rotor mold plastic. Yes. And so I noticed. So it so it comes with these panels up here, right? That are places you can attach stuff to. Or do you cut holes in that? Or oh, what? Those are just. Uh, these are just kind of glued on here. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, you can glue yeah. those on. Yeah. So the other thing I wanted to ask you with up front here, right? Is this? Uh, Hold on. So is this functional? What, as in, like, you, know, you could Other than, obviously, a, you can grab this, but yeah, is it storage is, or... No, it's not storage. It's just, it's cut out for the seats. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's just so the exactly. seat can move back and totally. move into that on both of them. Yep. Oh, okay. But if you wanted to, I guess you could probably glue something on, like you said. Well... Or figure out how to... If you wanted to I do mean, something else here. I'm sure you could. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this is an option, too. So, I mean, you oh, okay. could even build out the wall and ceiling without having the front wall unit oh, okay. on it, too. It's just okay. really dependent on what you want to do. I know some folks like to be able to, if they have the turnaround chairs, to be able to mm. turn around and use those chairs. Right, right. So, you know, it's just really yeah, how so you, you don't kind have of to have this. want to yeah. customize it for yourself oh, okay. as well. And then the lights up here, um, that just plugs into the regular system? Yeah, so there'll be, we'll have wiring up through all of that. And then you'll also have uh, plugs in each corner of the system as well. Oh, okay, cool. About how long does this take for someone doing it on their own to install this? Um, on their own, if you're well, if you're experienced, then mm. it, it, if you've got two people, they can do it in a day's time frame. Okay, so me, it'll be about a week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, me, cool. That's like not bad. Three <laughs> yes, exactly. I won't read any instructions until I get in trouble. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was also wondering, is there financing for the purchase? Okay. We yeah, don't offer financing. Yeah. We don't offer financing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but that could change in the near future. We're always working to try and capitalize on that. So great, yeah. So you guys are just starting up doing this right now. A very young company. Yeah, we're doing a young this. company. So we're we we are we we've been in we've started creating trailers back in 2015. Mm -hmm. So we started as a, a camper company, mm -hmm. and uh, we've created our modular adaptive system, mm -hmm. and we're now bringing that to vans in our van conversion kits. Oh, okay, so, so you guys have been in the world making in, these fiberglass. We've been in the business of fiberglass for a long time, and you know, creating our ultra lightweight campers that can basically be hauled with almost any vehicle. They start with a dry weight of 1,100 pounds and go up based on what what's, what what um, style you're going with. So. Okay, cool. All right, guys. I mean, I think that's I think that's pretty complete here. If you guys have any more questions, just let me know. If you're really interested in this, maybe I'll do some follow up stuff with these guys. Uh, maybe we'll go out to LA and see how you know All how right, they build these go. things. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So that's it. We're at the Overland East Expo in Arrington, Virginia. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. All right, guys. I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt. That's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus you can get 
Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one.